okay so problem statement a wooden block rests on a horizontal plane as shown in figure full stop determine the force p required to pull it and push it full stop assume the weight of block as 100 newton and the coefficient of friction mu it is 0.4 okay so this one it is weight of block it is 100 newton it is given so what is force required to pull it and it is push it okay so just first of all it will be take force required force required force required required to pull it first we will take force required to pull okay so first of all draw the free body diagram of this block so this one it is block okay it is rested on surface okay it is rested on surface means to remove this surface and draw the normal reaction that is rn normal reaction it is rn rn okay rn and the weight of block it is 100 newton it is acted in downward direction so weight of block it is acted 100 newton that is in downward direction 100 newton 100 newton okay then this one it is p force it is acted with the incline 15 degree with the horizontal okay so this one it is p force it is acted so this one it is first we consider it is pull it means away from the block this force it is p away from the block okay the angle with respect to horizontal it is 15 degree so this angle it is 15 degree with the horizontal 15 degree with the horizontal okay 15 degree with the horizontal okay so the impending motion of block this one it is in this direction means it is going right direction First of all, write down embedding motion. Embedding motion. Embedding motion. It is towards the right side. Okay. Just show the direction of embedding motion. It is towards the right side. If the embedding motion towards the right means friction force, it is acted opposite direction of embedding motion. So this one it is friction force. See here, friction force it is acted. So this force it is. This one force it is fr is equal to fr is equal to so coefficient of friction it is given it is 0 0.4 0 0.4 into r 0.4 into r okay this one it is friction force okay so this p force it is inclined force so just resolve it is in two directions the angle with respect to horizontal angle with respect to horizontal so that's why in horizontal direction it is p cos Because this one it is P force so angle with respect to horizontal. In horizontal direction, it is P cos 40, 40 sorry, 50. P cos P cos 15 in horizontal direction. In vertical direction, it is P sin 50. P sin 50. Okay. So now apply the condition of equilibrium. For that okay uh, apply condition of equilibrium so i will write here apply condition of equilibrium apply condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium apply condition of equilibrium okay so first of all take summation fx is equal to zero summation of fx is equal to 0 summation of fx is equal to 0 so for that assumption the direction of force it is right side it will be take positive the direction of force it is right side it will be positive the direction of force it is right side it will be positive the direction of force it is left side it will be negative the direction of force it is left side it will be negative it will be needed okay so first it will be take fr friction force fr is equal to 0.4 rn it is going which direction it is going left side okay so this one it is going left side so minus minus 0.4 rn rn then second one it is p cos 15 it is going 
right side so it will be positive plus p cos 15 is equal to 0 so these two forces it is acting in horizontal direction okay so point so take it is point 4 r n is equal to it will be p cos 15 p, p cos 15 okay so r n is equal to r n is equal to if we get relation r n and p cos 15 divided by 0.4 so it will be 2.414 2.414 it is p okay so write down this one it is equation number one this one it is equation number one okay this one it is equation number one so now plus second equilibrium equation that is summation f y is equal to zero summation of f y is equal to zero algebraic sum of all the vertical forces summation f y is equal to zero so for that assumption the direction of force it is upward it will be positive the direction of force it is upward it will be positive it will be positive if the direction of force it is downward it will be negative the direction of force it is downward it will be negative it will be negative okay so for that here rn it is going upward so it is positive okay then 100 newton it is going downwards so minus 100 then p sin 15 it is going upward so plus p sin 15 p sin 15 is equal to g okay so put rn value here in this equation put rn value so write on this one it is equation number two put equation one and two okay rn is equal to it is 2.414 p put here rn it is 2.414 p minus 100 then plus p sine 15 p sine 15 is equal to zero so take first p terms so which are the p terms so this one it is 2.414 p and p sine 15 so it will be take first p terms so 2.414 plus sine 15 so it will be 2.6 2.67 2.6 Six seven point six seven two p minus hundred is equal to g is equal to g. Okay, so I will write here remaining part from this relation. It will get p value. Okay, so write down p is equal to p is equal to p is equal to hundred divided by hundred divided by 100 divided by 100 divided by 2.672 so it will be p full force required so 100 divided by 2.672 so it will be 37.41 37.41 Four one three newton. Okay, so this one it is your first answer. First answer. What was first answer? So determine P force required to pull it. So required pull it is thirty seven point four one three newton. Okay, so we have completed first question answer. Okay, now now second it is push it. What is P force required to push it? Okay, so we will solve the second question. B force required to pull it force required required to push it to push okay so push means it is towards the point okay so draw the pre body diagram for pull okay so we'll draw it so this one it is block okay so it is rested on surface so it will be normal reaction rn normal reaction rn 
Rf. Then weight of block it is 100 Newton. It is acted in downward direction. Weight of block it is 100 Newton. It is in downward direction. 100 Newton. Okay. So now it is push it. Push it, it, it means it is towards the point. So it is E force it is acted towards the point. E force it is acted towards the point. So P force. So this one it is P force it is acted. So angle with respect to horizontal it is 15 degree. So this angle it is 15 degree. Okay. So it is push means towards the point. So P force it is acted towards the point. So now resolve this P force in two direction. One it is horizontal and second one it is vertical. Okay. One it is horizontal, second one is vertical. Okay. So in horizontal direction, this one it is E cos 15. E cos 15. In vertical, it is P sin 15. P sin 15. P sin 15. Okay. So actually inverting motion, it is we are applying it is towards the point. Force it is we apply towards the point. Means inverting motion, it is this direction. It is going left side. This one it is inverting motion. Okay. So I'll write here inverting motion. Inverting motion. Inverting motion. This one it is inverting motion. Okay. So in bending motion, it is going left side. It means friction force it is acted opposite direction of in bending motion. So this one it is friction force. Okay. Here it is acted. This one it is friction force. Okay. Friction force. Fr is equal to. Right. Fr is equal to this. Fr is equal to this. Point four R. Point four R. Okay. Point four R. Okay. So now apply the condition of equilibrium. So we need this part. Apply condition of equilibrium. Apply condition of equilibrium. Here it is P force. So it will be P sine 15. P sine 15. Okay. Normal direction. So apply condition of equilibrium. Apply condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium. Condition of P first summation fx is equal to zero. Summation of fx is equal to zero. Summation of fx is equal to zero. So for that, if the direction of force it is right side, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is right side, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is left side, it will be negative. Direction of force it is left side. It will be negative. It will be negative. Okay. So first this one it is 0.4 Rn. It is going right side. So it will be positive. 0.4 Fr it is 0.4 Rn. It is going right side. So it will be positive. Then P cos 15 it is going left side. So it is minus P cos 15 is equal to 0. Okay. So these two forces it is acted in horizontal direction. So 0.4 Rn, 0.4 Rn is equal to P cos 15, P cos 15, P cos 15, okay. So Rn is equal to, so it will be get one relation, Rn is equal to, Rn is equal to cos 15 divided by 0.4, so it will get same, 2.414 P, 2.414. 414 P. Okay. So this one is equation number one. 
equation number one. So now apply second equilibrium equation summation fx is equal to summation fy is equal to zero. Summation fy is equal to zero. Okay. Summation fy is equal to zero. So for that summation fy is equal to zero. So first it is RN it is going upward. So RN then 100 it is going downwards so minus 100 then p sin 15 it is going downwards so minus p sin 15 p sin 15 is equal to 0 so put here an rn value from equation number 2 okay put rn value so this one is equation number 2 so rn value put here so this rn value put here okay so rn is equal to it is 2.414 p p then minus 100 then minus p sin 50 p sin 50 p sin 50 is equal to 0 okay first of all take p terms okay so these two are p terms so these two are p terms so it will be take 2.414 minus sin 50. So it will be 2.155. 2.155 p minus 100 is equal to 0. So from this relation, it will get p is equal to right now, p is equal to 100 divided by. 100 divided by 100 divided by 2.15 2.15 okay so p is equal to p is equal to 100 divided by 2.15 so it will be 46.39 46.39 Newton, okay. Fifty-six point three nine Newton. This is your second question. Okay. First, it is force required to pull it is thirty-seven point four one three Newton, and second, it is force required to push it is forty-six point three nine Newton. Okay. This is your final answer.